this is broad rhetoric, a series of short interviews to get everyone excited about Broadway coming back. I'm Thomas Ellenson, your host. Yeah. My guest today is a person of multiple talents, a dancer, choreographer, educator, and filmmaker. He made his Broadway debut in Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Please welcome Max Reed. Eh. There he is. Hey, Tom. So good to see you, man. How are so you? So good to see you. I, I'm, I'm very excited now. Eh. For a proper conversation. <laughs> and eh. like I said before, miss you a whole bunch. Just yeah. Yeah. See your yeah. face. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> you know, I look up to say yes, and down to say. Eh. Perfect. I'll keep an eye out. How did you keep busy over the past year? So for me over the past year with the pandemic and everything, uh, originally I was trying to keep busy by making a project for myself. So I did a thing called quarantine choreography, mm -hmm. but not, not long after that Instagram project, um, I got sick, I caught COVID and I was in, uh, not so great shape for about two months. I, it was, I, uh, I was very sick. Um, my family and I were really, really worried. So for a while I didn't do anything and we came back to Memphis. Um, and then after that, after I slowly, slowly got better, um, me and a few collaborators started making our own things. So I created a new ballet about Memphis, which is where I'm from. And I eventually got to create like a little bubble, a pod of people that were tested. And we made made that ballet in a safe mm -hmm. environment and put it up on an outdoor theater. That was a lot mm -hmm. of fun. Um, I did some film projects and then I worked with students over Zoom. You know, I worked for Steps over Zoom and we were able to, it was really cool to teach people in different countries without having to leave for the first time. That was... Yeah. I, I'll be honest, I'm really, really sick of teaching Zoom classes. You know, it got old fast and having to teach everything in reverse. But it was amazing to, you know, have students in Japan take my class that they wouldn't have access to yeah. in New York. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. So lots of teaching, lots of new work, lots of making up my own stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me five things about what's most exciting about Broadway coming back. Uh, well, the top, the top of the list of the things that are most exciting about Broadway coming back is getting to see the community, getting to see my friends and getting to watch them make their genius art again, um, being around collaborative people that are so hungry and creative and interested in making great things um you don't know how like theater is mostly about connection with people and i love working in film but when you're in theater and you get to see the reaction from an audience and you get to have your scene partner on stage with you in real time make those decisions and feel those emotions it's different um, so I missed those people. I missed the smell of backstage, <laughs> you know, being behind, behind the scenes, behind the stage and, and all of those fun things. Um, live audience response. Um, that's <laughs> so exciting to get that again. Um, getting to see the streets of New York City alive with people. Mm. That is super cool. And we, the Tonys just happened. I missed the Tonys last year. Like, where were those, you know? Getting to see all those people yeah, on stage yeah. again. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Daniel, Daniel Watts on stage yeah. and, and Leslie Odom Jr. Like, yeah. they do their thing yeah. on TV. Yeah. So yeah. it's exciting to see all of that again. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just the people. Broadway has a great 
community of people. Yeah, and I, I yeah, miss them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I miss New York. I was gone. I was in Tennessee for, you know, almost a year. Yeah. And I moved back to New York City last week. Huh. Um, and we're ready to, to go full force again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever do any theater online over the past year? Theater online. So over the past year, I did a lot of teaching online and I did some editing work for theater pieces that would um, be filmed over Zoom and then presented for, it was, I believe it was like a charity. It was for the, um, the Oasis charity. Um, but I didn't do any online performances for theater. I did the editing. Um, one of the very lucky things that I have in my arsenal of skills, if you will, <laughs> from when I was training and in school, um, is that I am a video editor. So a lot of pieces of theater were doing Zoom readings, or yeah. there were some short films I did with Brandon Espinosa and Marshall Paylette, where they would take these really hot button topics like the back Black Lives Matter movement, like COVID itself, like um, uh, global warming. And they wrote scripts were about people that were having hard conversations with their families and they made it actually on a Zoom call. And so I would edit those scripts and I would edit the footage oh. together to make it look like a real yeah. Zoom call. Oh. And that was a lot of fun. Um, so lots of things like that online, but I didn't do a lot of acting in it. I did a lot of directing and editing yeah. and facilitating, which was fun. I miss acting. Though. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I've done. Yeah. Do you have any interesting moments from Spider-Man? Turn off the dark. Interesting moments from Spider-Man turn off the dark. Yeah. Uh, the really cool thing about Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark mm -hmm. was the wide range of people that were in it. Like people forget that the original Green Goblin was Patrick Page. Uh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like, like before, yeah. before Hades Town. Yeah, um, yeah. And he was so smart that at the beginning of the second act, he would come up facing upstage out of the floor yeah. on a big stage lift dressed as the yeah. Green Goblin yeah. and then and turn around and look at the audience for the first time in his, since his transformation. And I swear he's been doing theater for so long that he would look at the audience and read them. He could feel what would make them laugh and what wouldn't. Yeah. And then the next five to 10 minutes mm -hmm. of the show was just him improv looking at people in the audience, <laughs> crack, cracking jokes. And he always made the right jokes for that audience and i every day that i was on stage with patrick page i was taking a master class you know it was like learning how to be a real theater actor um and i was always on the stage at the beginning of the second act and i would just in my head take notes take notes take notes because i went into that show when i was 22 years old i'm 32 years old now so every Every day was learning and learning and learning. Um, let me think of something else that was really interesting. Um, I was a really big fan of Reeve Carney's band, Carney, before he was in the show. Um, and I remember meeting him for the first time at the yeah. call board sign in. And he came up and introduced himself mm -hmm. to me. And I was just like, I know exactly who you are. I love the Mr. Green album. This is best album ever or whatever and just everybody was just so welcoming and cool and we had dancers that were in alvin ailey before they did this and yeah. the first time i got hooked into the harness and got mm -hmm. to fly around in the theater that's that's my interesting story because i had i had to put on weight because you have to be a certain weight in order to fly or otherwise you'll like hit a wall or something and so oh. it took me two months to like work out and eat food to get heavy enough to fly and then yeah. they taught me sort of look over your left shoulder at this point and which way to lean into the wires the first time you fly on something like that yeah. up in the air and you see the seats beneath you yeah. it's just the coolest thing ever and 
it's a weird thing that you don't get from every kind of Broadway show, but because yeah. this was a, a comic book show. And yeah. I'm sorry if I'm rambling too much, but I'm a comic book nerd. And you'd have the Spider-Man costume on and yeah. flip out of the wing and land yeah. on the stage. And you'd see a little kid in the first row and their face would light up. You could tell yeah. that they felt safer yeah. because a superhero was around. Yeah. Yeah, and you could lean forward and give them a fist bump, and then keep going, and ah, that was just your heart would like ah, and oh. you could tell that like that was some little little kid's first introduction to theater because yeah. they love superheroes. Yeah, and so they might come to see Spider Man, decide they love it, and come back and see Phantom of the Opera, or like back then Les Mis was on, and they might come yeah. back and see Les Mis and get their first yeah. introduction to theater. It yeah. was just, it was really cool, man. I worked with great people. Yeah. I got to fly in the air. I got to be a superhero. I got to <laughs> act like the same. It was, it's the reason I'm, a, you know, trying to choreograph full length pieces of theater now. I didn't know yeah. I wanted it until I did that. Yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah. just, it makes your heart smile. And like, I mean, you know, you're a part of theater. Yeah. If I didn't do Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, I would have never met you. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't have yeah. been a part of Broadway Dreams. I wouldn't have got yeah. to choreograph on you. Yeah. So, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, it's been super cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? I did get stuck in the air during Spider-Man once. Um, yeah. That was kind of weird. <laughs> Um, and I got to be on stage the day the Obamas came to watch Spider-Man and that was a lot no. of fun, you know, yeah. it was a cool day. It was a very, very cool day. <laughs> and it's, it's something to learn to do eight shows a week. You think you're a performer when you've done like mm -hmm. theater over the weekends, mm -hmm. you could do four shows in a row and then yeah. rest or film mm -hmm. you get to do like a hard day and then go sleep. Mm -hmm. But like to do eight shows a week for yeah. three years. That's uh, that's when you learn that you love it. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. Um, uh, yeah. It's yeah. I love my Spider-Man family. And we got real close because it was dangerous and we had to be close. We had to trust each other yeah. in order to make the theater work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Thanks for doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for for thinking of me for this. Yeah. I'm so I'm so honored to get to be a part of it, and yeah. thank you for giving me a second chance so we could get a better internet yeah. connection. Yeah, I'll say it again. I'm very jealous of your playbill wall. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to decorate my new apartment in New York like that. We moved in last Friday, so mm. getting everything set up. I'll put all of my playbills on the yeah. wall too. <laughs> I'm. Just, Thank you. I'm Thomas Ellenson, signing off. Until next time. Ah.